Awkward Mafia. Hello, Internet! Welcome to another episode of Awkward Mafia Show. I'm Jesse. City of London. I go by Jack. Our golden. We're doing something different today because it's a Monday and I don't have anything else regularly on Monday, so Monday's always something weird different. I'm throwing stuff at the wall. Mm. See what sticks. <laughs> See what sticks. Today we're doing a little, uh, a game I kind of came up with on an earlier video where we randomly pick two fictional characters and I try to connect them through six degrees of separation and crossovers. Now, a few ground rules for this cross, because I've seen other videos where they try to do the big cartoon universe or what have you, and they do dumb stuff like, oh, uh, 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 what's Balrog is based on Mike Tyson, so we connect it to Punch Out. Like, no, that's not a crossover. <laughs> that's stupid. No, so for, for this to work, the crossover has to be officially licensed, it can't be in a commercial, and it can't involve public domain or real people. It, I mean, in the case of games like Tony Hawk, they can be in it, but the fictional characters that I connect have to be fictional, and they have to be owned by a company. There has to be contract signed, there has to be weight to the decision. It's six so, degrees of, of fiction. Yes. Thank you. That's actually a good, I think a good name for this. <laughs> six degrees of fiction. Yes. All right, so, I figured if I picked the thing, it would be weird. So, in this hat, we have a collection of different uh, fictional characters. We'll draw two, and uh, I'll try to connect them, and then we'll talk about the different connections. So, who wants to draw the first name? I'm drawing first. All right. How dare you. Okay, so, our first character contestant is... Let's see if I can... Yeah. Cosmos. That's Cosmos from the Xeno series. Yes, Xeno Saga, specifically. <clears throat> Alright, that's one. Uh, who wants to draw a second? I'll go second, just to make it... Do it, Golden. Awkward. awkward Mafia, after all. Yes. Alright. There we go. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. And Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat. Okay. Cosmos and Sub-Zero. This isn't too difficult, actually. Let's start with uh, Cosmos. Uh, she's in a lot of crossovers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, the Project Cross Zone series, which is originally uh, Namco Cross Capcom, which is a, a kind of turn-based RPG with fighting game elements, which is uh, quite fun, actually. Uh, encourage it, but not all the games are in America. <laughs> right. Uh, developed by Monolith Soft, I think the most recent one. It's the same people who made Xeno Saga. Yep. Yeah, that's why, one reason why she's in it. Uh, now specifically, I'm going to say draw her connection with Ryu from Street Fighter. Uh, Street Fighter series is very popular. I mean, who plays Street Fighter? Oh, well, I played it. Yeah. Read the yeah. comic. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Street Fighter's crossover with quite a few things. Uh, most famously, Marvel vs. Capcom or X Men vs. Street Fighter was the first one, in which characters from Capcom, such as Ryu, would fight characters from Marvel, like Spider Man or or uh, Captain America. Uh, how many? There's a there's a few Marvel vs. Capcom games out there. Uh, any fans of those games? I mean, who, what's your like favorite one of the Marvel vs. Capcom series? Rest in peace. Yeah, the last one kind of died. Yeah, Ultimate. Uh, Infinite. Ultimate was. Oh, well, the later version. MPC three Ultimate. Ultimate. Yeah. And then there was Infinite. Infinite, which yeah. was the which is the fourth entry, which. Fell I flat. liked, but had a lot of problems. And fell flat. It course. fell flat, yes. Yeah. The story mode was interesting, because it had a story mode. <laughs> Usually the story mode is, oh no, Professor X and Magneto are merging into Onslaught. He summons the Capcom characters to help. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh no, Abyss, a made-up villain, is attacking. Ruby Hart and Cable team up to bring the heroes from Capcom and Marvel together to stop him. That's literally the plot of the previous... <laughs> Pretty low, games. Yeah. pretty low brow. Yes, yes, and this one did it. It was ambitious. It wasn't great, but it was ambitious. It had some interesting stuff. They tried. They tried. Uh, but moving on with our stepping stones. How many? How many in are we? We got Cosmos to Ryu in Project Cross Zone, mm -hmm. and then Ryu and Marvel. Uh, let's pick let's out a specific one. Spider Man. Okay. Yes. No. Um. That's counting. Three, counting three. Oh, good, good, good. Uh. Well, no, it's. Cosmos in and Ryu, Ryu and Spider Man. Yeah. All right. Okay. The two. Okay. Uh, Spider Man has crossed over with Batman. Okay. 
Multiple times. Several times. Uh, there's a standalone, you know, Batman and Spider-Man comics where uh, Joker teams up with Carnage. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's also the big company sprawling ones like Marvel vs. DC and DC vs. Marvel. And Justice League Avengers, which I think the most recent crossover they did. Uh, fun fact, the first comic co-published by Marvel and DC was The Marvelous World of the Wizard of Oz. Which is an adaptation of the film Wizard of Oz. No fool, I didn't That's the first comic they worked together on. That's perfect. The next one they would do together would be uh, Superman vs. Spider-Man. Oh, okay. Which is an interesting read. In that comic, they already exist in the same world. They just never met. Later crossovers would have them. The worlds are colliding. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Crisis on two comic companies. (laughs) And finally, we can wrap this up uh, with Batman meeting Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Oh, well. Which was a crossover that came out when I was in, like, middle school. Uh, It was a while ago, but it was the first, like, Warner Brothers Mortal Kombat collaboration. Uh, It was kind of a little bit of a rebirth of Mortal Kombat, because I think the one before that was, like, the finale of the series. (laughs) And they brought back dead characters, and it also had a very interesting story mode. <laughs> similar in plot, the worlds were merging, and only one could survive. Happens a lot of these things, doesn't it? It does, honestly. <laughs> so there we go. That's Cosmos, the Sub-Zero. We did it. In four steps. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let me try again. Why the other two uh, pull? Up, up, up. Okay. All right. Who we got? Behind card number one, we have Strong Bad. Strong Bad. Strong Bad. From Homestar Runner Strong and Strong Bad, Bad emails. And Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> okay. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Let's see. There is a way to do this. I'm just, I'm, I'm running through my mind right now. The card it Definitely tell this is the game where I am way out of my league. <laughs> uh, well, for, who here is familiar with Strong Bad? Homestar Runner, yeah. 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 Um, oh, you've never seen yep. Strong Bad emails? No. Uh, well, I think you know, the system is dumb. No. 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 Uh, I think I think I might be able to do it actually. With well, the connection between Strong Bad and Mickey Mouse. I don't know if it's a character crossover though. I don't think it's a character crossover, but same company, so I don't think it counts. No, it has to be actual yeah. character okay. meeting. Uh, all right. I'm trying, just trying to remember really quickly who was in this game, this particular game in my brain. Why would you put Mickey Mouse in this? Because <laughs> he has crossover with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, Mickey Mouse does go uh, places. Uh, uh, gets around. Uh, if you can get to Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Mars. wait. Oh. Yes, I can. Got it. All right, <laughs> we're in. Brain blast. <laughs> we're, st- <laughs> we're starting with Strong Bad. So Strong Bad uh, is from a internet series called Homestar Runner. More specifically, a show called Strong Bad Emails, where he answers fan emails in hilarious ways. They still make uh, cartoons every holiday, but the writers who made, it, made the show moved on to other projects like Gravity Falls and, and uh, oh, other Disney them. shows and stuff. Good for them. Uh, but one thing that they made, or collaborated with, was a Telltale point-and-click adventure game. I knew Telltale was going to come up. Uh, mm-hmm. Strong Bad's... Cool uh, game for awesome people? Yes, for attractive people. Attractive people, thank you. <laughs> Uh, One degree off. And because they had the assets, uh, for s- a little, I don't think a lot of people know about this game, but uh, Telltale made a game called Poker Night at the Inventory, Inventory. which was a very weird, po- it was a poker game, where you, as the player, would play against other s- fictional people. Strong Bad, Sam and Max, um, uh, Heavy from Team Fortress 2... And uh, the sequel added a bunch more characters. Uh, uh, the first one also had Gabe from... Not, Penny Arcade. Uh, Penny yeah. Arcade. <laughs> the Penny Arcade uh, com- uh, webcomic series. Yes. The sequel did add more people, including uh, Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Uh, Brock Samson from Venture Brothers. Uh, that little robot guy from Borderlands. Claptrap. Claptrap. Clap Clap yeah. Aha! I knew something. <laughs> and Gladys from Portal. Oh. <laughs> There's a science. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and Sam and Max again. <laughs> yeah. So, Strong Bad is in uh, the Poker Night Inventory series, along with Gladys from Portal. They weren't in the same game, but they were both in the same series. So I'm counting that as the first step. All right. It's a bit of a reach, but we'll allow it. I count as series okay. crossovers. Uh, characters like I said, we'll allow it. Uh, so, Portal has actually had quite a few, well, not a few, but 
references. little guest references and, and crossovers in indie games. They appeared in uh, a game I love that unfortunately didn't last very long called Lego Dimensions. Uh, I thought you were going to go with Disney Infinity, but okay, this is better. Lego Dimensions. Uh, Portal was not in... I know, I know, I know. I thought you were going there, though. So, okay. So, Lego Dimensions is a Toys Life game using Legos and had over 30 different franchises in it, including Portal. Portal. But also including Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> There's a Sonic the Hedgehog Lego piece that you could only get by buying the game thing, and it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> uh, the, the, the Portal stuff in Lego Dimensions is actually really cool and actually important to the plot of the game. Gladys is one of the main characters. She teams up with Doctor Who at one point, and it's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. And she sings the credit song. Of course she does. <laughs> course Where she does. mentions how uh, it's basically two Chell telling her that she missed this awesome team up, and that she got to meet Batman. <laughs> 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 and she actually baked a cake, and it was great. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, but yeah, so that game's great, and Sonic is in it, and Sonic uh, has like own DLC missions where he goes through different Sonic worlds and stuff. Sonic is in a bunch of other crossovers, including Super Smash, Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. which fe mainly features Nintendo characters, but in recent this years expanded to include Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, what did you guys think when you first heard that, that Cloud was in Smash? Uh, I thought this was a closer step to getting uh, older Final Fantasy stuff in, seven, in <laughs> Smash. Didn't happen. Broke my heart. Yeah. Not a big fighter game person, hence not contributing to any of this conversation. I'm still waiting to see I, if Dragon Quest is going to be in the next DLC character in Smash. I, I was actually... Mark this post! <laughs> so, I was, um, I was at a tournament after Cloud was came out and used, oh. and wouldn't you know, like, most of the players there were, like, Cloud players. And I'm, I, I play Luigi, mm. but... Um, so I didn't really matter, but I switched off between <laughs> I, I switched off between like Luigi and Link. So when I played Link, I actually like do better. But just everybody met Cloud, Cloud, Cloud. I'm like, okay, you guys are making this too easy to know what you guys are gonna do. Like, oh, I wonder what they're gonna do. That. Oh, you're you're far away from me. Huh? Maybe charge up. Like, oh look, he's charging <laughs> Omni Slash. Yeah. It's oh wait, that's a Smash yeah. game, isn't it? Um, um, but yeah. I never. Yeah, I never. Used him as a main myself. I played him a couple times just to see what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's uh, a more fun Ike. <laughs> <laughs> my reaction is actually on this channel. I filmed myself from the first yeah, time I saw that, oh, okay. not knowing that was happening, and uh, I freaked out a little. <laughs> uh, but just a little. But I also freaked, freaked out when Sonic was confirmed to be in Smash. Oh, back in Brawl. Back in Brawl. Back before I was filming myself. And he was the most important character in that, who wasn't Kirby, DDD, Mario. <laughs> yes, uh, it was still cool that Sonic and Mario were in a fighting game together, because before that there was just Mario and Luigi at the... Uh, Mario. <laughs> Mario and Sonic at the yeah, Olympic Games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Finally. Which was a little bit of a letdown. Finally, we could actually answer who would win in a fight, Sonic or Mario. Yes, yes. that was the most right. important part. And then, oh, but also Snake. Snake's also in that. So, so they keep Samus in. I'm yeah. happy. Sure. I mean, she's a Nintendo character. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Cloud is also had a uh, few crossovers. The most famous one, the one that everyone's talking about currently, because it's... He's not there! Spoiler alert! He's a little bit... Uh, not not in person, uh, but uh, Kingdom Hearts series, which is Disney and Square Enix coming together. Cloud is in some of the games, <laughs> a lot of uh, the same He's games even as Mickey Mouse. And with that, we've made a connection in four steps. Again, four. I'm, I'm on top of this. Oh, All right. What do you guys think of this <laughs> video? Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I do this again. Yeah. 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 Uh, maybe we'll mix it up. Maybe I'll come in with like pre, like interesting crossover. Like characters have something in common. Maybe. Maybe I'll come in with a Luigi hat. I don't have a Luigi hat. <laughs> fix that. Uh, just some green dice should work. I'm poor. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite crossovers are in the comments. Uh, and any characters you think I should throw in the hat, because there's still quite a few in here. I was honestly worried we were going to get like Mario and Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> or, I was like, oh. The, the game they were both in. <laughs> yeah, the games they were both in. <laughs> Multiple. Uh, so yeah, let me know what names I should include. I'm surprised Cosmos got pulled. 
<laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have been, yeah. given how much I like the Xenos. I know, so I of people, I'm glad you will. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, well, the... New background. <laughs> there are buttons you can push. One of them means like, one of them means dislike. I prefer the like over the dislike, but it's up to you. Mm -hmm. You're a human being with free will. And you can also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. We are currently reacting to Stranger Things, and more stuff is in the pipeline. Probably. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Figuring things out. Yeah. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye. Later. Take care. Bye.